Hi Gemini and welcome to your reading for May 2019. My name is Melanie. This is a general reading for Gemini Sun, Moon and Rising Sign people. So given it's general, of course it may or may not resonate. Just uh, take what you like and leave the rest. So let's just jump right in. Uh, I use five cards for a monthly reading. The first card uh, representing past energies past things that may be relevant this month you have the Queen of Wands card the second card along there representing the current um, situation current issues current energy in the month of May the Sun card came through for you guys the third card representing possible obstacles this month the strength card the fourth card being about um, possible helpful tools of use this month the two of Wands card and the card in the outcome position for May is the Knight of Swords and the other card sort of lying down there which um, I use from a different deck of cards kind of like Oracle cards and that one I use as the uh, overall theme card for the month that hopefully kind of ties everything together but of course we'll see um, that card is called Campfire and that represents Storyteller and I'll be reading about that card towards the end of this reading so starting with the past energy you have the Queen of Wands card so this queen is very charming, very um, passionate, very friendly, she's a social butterfly, she's very loving, she's the lady of the manor, she um, is very exuberant, she's very warm and vibrant, she's very determined, she has an inner strength and an inner courage. Um, she is about creativity, the wands, the suit of wands is about creativity, your passions, your inspiration, your desires. The Queen of Wands has a desire for fertility, but she hasn't quite got all the elements for that together yet. Um, she's in touch with her shadow side. We can see the black cat sitting at her feet there, representing um, the shadow side of the self. Um, this Queen uh, is in touch with that, and this is not necessarily bad parts of ourselves, but parts of ourselves which we choose to keep hidden from other people and perhaps even ourselves. But she, she's not she's really gone there and she's had a look at through look at some of that kind of stuff she's quite self-aware she knows her strengths and weaknesses um she you know if we see in the background of the card there there's some pyramids uh maybe there's sand or clouds on the other side there she's traveled to distant um lands she's done some hard work she's quite good at problem so problem solving uh, and problem solving in a creative way um she has her eye on on the prize on the goal she can make social connections you know she's very good at she's quite confident and good at putting herself out there to meet new people to meet her tribe so maybe you've come in contact with um, people who kind of get you perhaps really get you creatively um, who are like-minded in some way you've made an impression on these people mm. you've connected to them in some way um, and you being more of your authentic kind of self you know particularly when we get in touch with our shadow sides and we show that to people when we're willing to do that um, and we can use those aspects of our si ourselves in a creative sense um, we become much more real and much more authentic so it looks like there was something in the past that you, um, you you've come through a process of and you're kind of in touch with that um, You've, you've been quite active, quite social, quite passionate about something. Um, there's perhaps a creative project that you were working on and you've connected with other people, um, you know, in, in real life or online in some way. Um, you're trying to find your, your people, you kind of know where you want to go um, and you're, um, you've been in a process of of getting there um, through this kind of inner courage and strength that you ha that you have and this kind of warmth and vibrancy that has drawn other people to you and it's there's been quite a time of fun and social connections and um, creating links out there with people who resonate with you moving on to the present situation the current month current energies you have the Sun card and what a beautiful card this is the Sun card is about um, clarity it's a very 
positive, bright, vibrant, happy card, a very joyous card. It's associated with kind of innocence, freedom. You know, we see the child um, on the back of the horse there kind of going, yippee, you know, like there's such an exuberance to this um, card. The Queen of Wands is also quite an exuberant uh, energy as well. So just kind of noting those kind of little links there. Um, this card is about um, accomplishment and joy, success, sort of new life, new direction, heading in a new direction in some way. The horse is potentially taking you there. I just noticed too that in the, in the Sun card there's a lot of sunflowers and in the Queen of Wands card she's holding a sunflower Wow, that's so striking. Uh, what are sunflowers? Actually, they kind of grow like weeds. <laughs> Certainly, where uh, potentially, you know, but they're, they're very robust and they shine brightly like the sun. They're very distinct, they're very, I think, very happy flowers. Um, you know, the sun card, uh, on the note of the sun card, it's, it's um, about abundance, potentially abundance of wealth. It's about coming, it's about light, lightness after dark times, coming through a hard time and feeling feeling really liberated now. Feeling like you can see things clearly, you know, in the harsh light of day, things are revealed. The universe perhaps is now showing you and revealing things to you, illuminating things so you can make a choice. This is a card that is uh, represents good luck and is a good omen in uh, work and finances. Um, it may be, sorry, a hidden, hidden opportunity is coming to light. Um, it's it's also a card potentially you know in terms of work and 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 good good luck there's work rewards and um, achievement and team efforts bringing sort of results co-creation going on fertilization you know the, the something life giving um, is coming up here certainly in the month of May um, which I think is just fantastic something really bright and positive um, good good luck new life new directions bright new sunflowers popping up all over in your life um moving on to the third card and what may show up as a bit of an obstacle this month month and you have the strength card you know and typically this is um you know very positive card the woman in this card has tamed the beast you know she she is patting a, a, a lion there and lion is very happy um to be um, touched and stroked and patted and probably purring like a kitten whereas normally you'd be quite fearful of a lion this is about um, sometimes knowing your inner strength um, this the in the card the this inner strength the calm in the strength of the woman um, has been able to tame this wild kind of um, beast typically it's a card about courage strength patience um, beauty seeing beyond the appearance of the beast um, in the position of an obstacle though perhaps this card is saying um, have you taken on uh, a bit too much it can also suggest being a little bit too um, disorganized in some way um, maybe you need to know when to do you know your inner beasts um, are you in touch with them do they take control of you um, or are you in control of them have you been willing to face your demons your inner demons um, inside of us or inside of you you have the power to defeat that kind of stuff to tame it to nurture it don't let it get out of control and dominate and frighten you when really there's nothing to be frightened of um, be wary of not using brute strength this month just to get what you want and barge your way through um, we need to use a, a peaceful approach to um, get through and overcome obstacles you know this the the energy of this card is quite peaceful even though potentially a line can be very very scary and represent you know raw passion raw desire she's th this line is tamed you know there, there, there's this kind of power and inner wisdom and inner strength associated with this card I think this card is reminding you not to forget your inner strength I can I can assure you you've probably gone through a lot um, and you've come out the other the other end whether you recognize it or not 
this is reminding you to feel the fear and to do it anyway um, if you are feeling exhausted and a bit too burnt out go within to find your inner strength to persevere you have power don't forget your inner power don't get to um, don't forget that really um, and don't let the wild beasts within you essentially take control just out of fear when they're not really um, real anyway um, trust yourself trust your inner guidance your gut your um, intuition um, and be just be perhaps be but balance that up with kind of wild urges perhaps to do some crazy things um, you need to look at those wild urges and passions and those inner beasts in a really different way you need to invite them into your house rather than let them scratch and claw at the door and scare you when you open the door and welcome them in um, it, it, it dearmors them you know they have a completely different energy and power to them and you can utilize that to your advantage rather than letting it run the show um, what may be useful this month is um, you have the two of wands card so um, wands are about you know we had this is the second wands card showing up for you guys are about um, you know passions creativity inspiration um, spontaneity life force life energy that kind of thing in this card the two of wands represents kind of looking ahead planning looking to the future possibly thinking is the grass always greener you know the grass looks nice over there the person in this card is holding the world in his hands but he's also looking out across the land you know and surveying things and contemplating and going do I want this do I want that got a bit of a backup plan happened there you know he's got the, the one behind him and he's holding onto one in front of him um, he's wondering what to do he has perhaps a vision there has been some um, progress made but there's a sense of perhaps restlessness and boredom associated with this this card showing up and kind of wanting to move beyond that I think this is a card reminding you to again kind of like strength to get back in touch with yourself to perhaps get into a reflective space work out what it is you want you are looking ahead at something maybe you're being called to something um, you need to um, focus on what work you know once you work out what it is you want to do you need to get to work essentially um, uh, work on the external and internal stuff that can compel you forward um, you know with the two wands here there's sort of external and internal pressures that require strength requires uh, resolve require you to stay on task and to stay focused um, when you're looking ahead often it can seem very daunting or it can seem very tempting in some way to take shortcuts or um, but this is a card saying no 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 just contemplate be calm make a decision um, act with a little bit of restraint but this uh, but plan because this is the calm before not the storm but before things get quite um, busy and there's a, need, a sense of needing to balance that up and in terms of busyness the outcome card for you guys uh, is the knight of swords card and uh, boy does he look busy this <laughs> this knight is charging along on his horse you know he's there's sort of some quick fast movement um, going on there we can see the you know the the horses in full flight it looks like that the, the wind is rushing behind them the um, clouds are rushing behind them knights um, are adventurers you know they are swashbucklers they are um, you know revolutionary they create movement and change um, this is a swords card so some sort of revolution perhaps in thinking and wanting to you know move forward with something in a very um, quick way you know this this knight is dashing he's brave he's a defender he's very action-oriented he's willing to fight for what he believes in he's it potentially starts battles for what he believes in. He's courageous, he communicates, um, he problem solves, he uh, has quite a youthful energy. He's very much an agent for change. Um, 
so it looks like there's a real process going on this month um, and and by the end of it you you are feeling very expansive and much more creative um, you are wanting to um, expand and drive forward very passionately you know with a lot of um, energy but first of course you need to have that think about where it is you want to go as we see in the two of wands card there brainstorm what it is um, it is you want you know there's there's a sense of absolute eagerness and keenness associated with this card but you know be mindful to take things one step at a time and not to rush in um, blindly um, we you know which is not always helpful sometimes we need to um, balance up that um, desire for new things and fighting for what we believe in with um, not just instant trying to get our instant needs met you know things take time to grow and develop um, and whilst this night is um, has this forward moving energy um, just try to balance that up with remembering what it is you're wanting to do um, but you certainly have a lot of action and energy and desire to do it <laughs> so maybe May will be quite an, uh, an active month um, in you know and, and I'm just thinking of that strength the card there and just being mindful that those inner beasts don't get the better of you with that knight of swords card there perhaps he's a bit caught up with some of that wild energy and he's just wanting to go for it and defend and transform you know which is exciting it's intense it's very goal oriented so you know it looks like you'll be very fixed on a goal um, perhaps towards the out um, the towards the end of this month and you will have a lot of energy to do that I'm just going to read now from the booklet um, to do with that final card there called Campfire Storyteller from the Dreamtime Reading Cards uh, booklet the Dreamtime is the Aboriginal Australian uh, spiritual belief system I love these cards I use them more like oracle cards I think as I've mentioned I, th I love the words and I love the um, visual images the pictures on these cards they are very typical of Aboriginal dot paintings so campfire storyteller the campfire plays a large part in the lives of traditional Aboriginal Australians it is used as a source of warmth a way to cook food and a meeting place fire is a tool used in ceremony and ritual traditionally it's a way of managing the environment and clearing areas ready for new growth Families and kinship groups would gather around the campfire to share meals, to sing and dance and connect with each other. It was also a place where knowledge was shared, stories were told, not only the dreamtime stories we may be familiar with, but stories of everyday happenings that were also retold and enjoyed. There was an intergenerational transferal of knowledge as well, as the elders shared their stories with the younger generations and enjoyed watching them grow, learn and try new things. That younger generation, that's uh, very much the energy of that Knight of Sword there, uh, growing, learning, trying new things, rushing out there. The Campfire card reminds you that everyone has a story to tell and that no one knows your story better than you do. When you draw this card, it is time to gather your family and friends and share some of your own personal experiences. When you share your story, you allow others to learn from you. It's also important to listen to others and allow them to share their stories with you. Everyone has something to share, some knowledge that you didn't, did not yet know. Knowledge can come from the most unlikely of people and places, so value the sharing of wisdom wherever you get the opportunity. So maybe take on board some of the uh, insights and offerings of people around you as you are formulating perhaps a new plan in your life and looking ahead to the future. Um, help them to pace yourself in some way um, without with still sticking to what you want you know it's all good and well to hear other people's opinions but at the end of the day you know yourself best and you know what is right for you and you need to tr trust your gut instincts um, I'm noticing suddenly with these cards too with the Queen of Wands the Strength card the Two of Wands and the Knight of Swords card in the background there's like mountains and distant kind of lands so I don't know either you may be traveling wanting to travel 
going on a journey going on a journey externally actually traveling or internally within yourself and coming up with a new place that you want to be in your life um, you've already been thinking about that I think with the Queen of Wands card there and we still see that showing up and suddenly you're off <laughs> creating a new story for yourself by the end of the month so Gemini thank you so much for watching and listening to this reading I'm very grateful you've given it your time and attention um, have a wonderful May and hopefully I'll see you back in June